Thoughts become things. If you see it in your mind, you will hold it in your hand. Be like a postage stamp. Stick to it until you get there. Set a goal to achieve something that is so big, so exhilarating that it excites you and scares you at the same time. Change is inevitable but, personal growth is a choice. You are the only problem you will ever have, and you are the only solution. Change is inevitable, personal growth is always a personal decision. Faith and fear both demand you believe in something you cannot see. You choose. Most people are not going after what they want. Even some of the most serious goal seekers and goal setters, they're going after what they think they can get. You don't decide what your purpose is in life you discover it. Your purpose is your reason for living. A mentor is someone who sees more talent and ability within you, than you see in yourself, and helps bring it out of you. If you do not get the chills when you set your goal you're not setting big enough goals. The only limits in our life are, those we impose on ourselves. The subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between what's real and what's imagined. See yourself living in abundance and you will attract it. It always works, it works every time with every person. Do you want to know what you think about most of the time? Take a look at the results you're getting. That will tell you exactly what's going on inside. Your purpose explains what you are doing with your life. Your vision explains how you are living your purpose. Your goals enable you to realize your vision. Let's start with what we can be thankful for, and get our mind into that vibration, and then watch the good that starts to come, because one thought leads to another thought. The only competition you will ever face is with your own ignorance. 2% of the people think, 3% of the people think they think, and 95% of the people would rather die than think. If you know what to do to reach your goal, it's not a big enough goal. Everything has been created twice, once on a mental plane and once on a physical plane. It doesn't matter where you are, you are nowhere compared to where you can go. You want to make sure that, your purpose is something people can benefit from long after you are gone. Everything you are seeking is seeking you in return therefore, everything that you want is already yours. It is simply becoming more aware of what you already possess. Discipline is giving yourself a command, and following it up with action. If it's not broken, tinker with it till you find out how it works. No amount of reading or memorizing will make you successful in life. It is the understanding and application of wise thought that counts. I treat winning and losing exactly the same. I see them both as necessary steps to get us where we are going. Big failures big lessons little failures little lessons. Money will make you more of what you already are. If you're not a nice person. Money's going to make you a despicable individual. If you're a good person, money's going to make you a better person. I am a spiritual person living in a human body, not a human body with a spirit. You're going to find the people that make it work never quit. Quitting is not an option. Always ask yourself the question. Is this going to help get me to my goal or not? It doesn't matter how you grew up, or what you've struggled with in life, your mind is unscathed by any circumstance you've yet to live in it's phenomenally powerful. 
Let us not look back in anger nor forward in fear, but around us in awareness. Science and psychology have isolated the one prime cause for success or failure in life. It is the hidden self-image you have of yourself. In any moment of decision, the best thing you can do is the right thing, the next best thing is the wrong thing, and the worst thing you can do is nothing. Your intuitive factor is what picks up other people's vibration. I think earning money is the simplest thing in the world, once you learn how to do it. To believe in the things you can see and touch is no belief at all. But to believe in the unseen is both a triumph and a blessing. The person who has a highly evolved will they think, they build an image and they focus on that image. The law polarity decrease that everything has an opposite it's the flip side of the coin. Your right my left, the front the back, consider this next time you disagree with someone because they're right from their point of view. If you're thinking of debt, that's what you're going to attract. We need to make a game out of earning money. There is so much good we can do with money. Without it, we are bound and shackled and our choices become limited. Just understand that the good that you want is already here. All you have to do is get in harmony with it. And you do that through your own thinking. Faith is to believe what you do not see. The reward of this faith is to see what you believe. The report card just told me, my teacher, my parents where my mind was at maybe three weeks before when they gave me a test. IT had nothing to do with my potential. Paradigm is a part of the conditioning of the mind, our conditioning thought patterns. I am firmly convinced that I can show anyone how to become a millionaire simply by shifting their paradigm and if you're going to shift your paradigm you're going to have to learn how to use your higher fat. You never die from a snake bite, you can't be unbitten it's in the way, what continues to pour through you long after the bite has taken place. Strange thing about faith and fear, they both demand you believe in something you cannot see. The opposite of love is not anger, it is apathy. The biggest gap in your life is that between what you know and what you do. Your body is molecular structure your body is a mass of energy at a very high speed of vibration. It's the will, that gives us the ability to focus. You can do anything, if you put your focus on how to do it, rather than on why you can't. We can build anything in our imagination, that's where all creation begins in your life. The person who has a highly evolved will they think, they build an image and they focus on that image. Remember, wealth isn't just about generating money. It's doing what you love in the way you want to do it.